Hello, Rafael. Thank you for having us here. Yeah, hello. How are you? Uh, thank you very much for coming. It's a pleasure. <laughs> um, I think it's very interesting for the people mm -hmm. how bonsai came into your life. Yeah, the bonsai came uh, because I have a business before. I have some stress full in, the, in my life and I start to do bonsai and, and I'm, I got to feel in better in my, my body and my mind and every time I want to do more and more and more. And finally I decided uh, to make me a professional and have a... Uh, how did you get in contact with Bondoy? Yeah, I get in, in contact like a lot of people. Uh, I buy a small tree first and I look it and I want to take care about and my first tree is a commercial tree, the Ficus, uh, standard Ficus and I look it and I see how uh, the tree go down <laughs> I, and I, I want to learn more and more and more and also I started uh, in this way no? and after that I learned more and more and more and uh, the trees only got uh, my attention and I feel I felt better and better and better and you know it's like uh, now it's like a drug <laughs> you yes. want more and more bonsai and and finally decided to make a uh, professional and make a garden and it's okay. <laughs> how, how did you learn bonsai? Did you have a teacher or did you learn it from the books or from the internet? I think it's for everywhere, you know. It's uh, uh, initial, uh, I start to go every afternoon to a garden. It's a big hobbyist here for Oleas. Um, I start to work on it and Oleas, I get what is bonsai, the real bonsai, not like uh, commercial things. And, and I started uh, in this way and after that uh, the garden is very very good teach because you need to learn about a lot of things when you have a business like this and also Bjorn came uh, and make a school together for every year two times and also I learn a lot of things and uh, also everywhere you get always some if you look at that yeah but uh, in the job you had before, it was nothing, art nothing. Uh, artistic that you had an influence, uh, influence of this? No, I have a baby store for uh, uh, car safe, uh, the strollies, everything. But always I, I want something more, you know. I always have some artist uh, line in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, when you connect with the trees, you connect with the nature, also with some artist part from you. And uh, I want to, I want to have more and more and more, you know, mm. more bonsai in my life every time. So your influence came from uh, other bonsai guys from Mallorca and yeah. from Bjorn. Yeah, Bjorn and other good artists. And uh, for me, one of the best ones like uh, Jinji Suzuki. I oh. really love. Yes. This uh, this type of uh, spirit garden, you know. Yes, and, great. And I really love it and uh, motivate a lot of uh, good energy in my my staff, of course. Yeah. Have you visited Japan? Yeah, two, two keys? Yeah, 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 two times. Oh, great. Uh, but it's, uh, I think have uh, every I I think the trees have some every every tree is different, you know. It's uh, very very nice. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's, it's very, very nice. great job, and they have. Uh, so great work areas, like yeah. I, in, I saw this place where they yeah. um, pot the trees. Yeah. It's perfect, yeah. like yeah. with the, the thing under, and you can work very perfect. And yeah. it's a great garden. They made a great video for us. It's really a piece of art what yeah. they gave to us last year. Yeah, it's a very nice concept about uh, garden. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah, they will be in Germany next yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Um, how many bonsai trees do you have in your personal collection? In my personal collection, maybe it's 40-50. Uh, it's different than the sales area. You know? mm -hmm. it's, uh, I have a lot of projects. And the unique problem is when you have more entry. <laughs> I have a business. And also the people want your own trees. And this is a, is a, tough, <laughs> a tough thing, you know, because 
always you want to make a nice place and you need to have more more trees in the in process because always you sell some you know yeah uh, the videos i saw of you especially the ones you made with bjorn yeah. i only saw one of the trees in the garden yeah. the others are sold i think i i sold a lot of one and yeah yeah mm. maybe i have two three uh, mm. made with bjorn yeah <laughs> <laughs> but but finally you need uh, to make business and you need to sell this the this is a professional <laughs> way, it's, uh, it's normal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm, you have a great olive there. Yeah, it's yeah. a native olive from Mallorca. Yes, of course. What's the uh, different of the native olives of Mallorca to other, other olives? places? Yeah, one of the uh, good points is uh, normally uh, you can find uh, with very nice bark. You see the bottom uh, here. And normally it's because uh, the mountain condition in the, the area uh, get the humidity and makes more bottom uh, bottom uh, bark on it. The other thing is uh, created different movements, different styles, uh, everything because also the animals eat and and the wind because you see in the mountain you are very close to the sea and. You get a very hard wind from the from the Tramontana is the name, and it makes a crazy trees and this is very good for bonsai, you know. And also the other very good uh, point is the size of the leaves because the, also the animals, the wind makes fall down and create a new one like the foliation mm -hmm. uh, make a genetical small size of leaf, you know. Mm -hmm. And this is very good for also bonsai. Yeah, and if you have a small trees, a small leaves fits very well. And if you can uh, also, you can you can have also. You asked me before if I have a super species, but depends of the tree. Sometimes have smaller, sometimes have a little bigger. Mm. But in general, it's not like a standard leaf. It's more as a small. I heard in the podcast you made with Ryan yeah. that there's very many bonsai people here on the island. Yeah, 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 yeah a lot. Yeah, There's we have five a lot of clubs. We have four or five clubs. Yeah, it's, wow. it's more or less active, more mm. or less people, but still four or five clubs. Yeah, and how many Association. people are in the clubs? Uh, now I think it's uh, less people than before. Is uh, active maybe it's always 15, 20. But in the past uh, was crazy, maybe 50, 60, 100, everyone, and a lot crazy. of people. Uh, yeah. I think uh, yeah. the population of Mallorca is less than Hamburg, but yeah. it's much more people it's because of the great environment here, I think. Yeah, I think one of the why here we have a lot of hobbyists is, is because maybe the oleas. <laughs> yes, they <laughs> can collect them if they are allowed them. to. Yeah, now in the past is uh, doesn't matter about, but now it's more it's more protect everything. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because in the past too much, uh, too much, and also the mountain are protect, and you need to get a proper permission. Yeah, you know. Is all the mountains protected or only uh, the areas? private the private uh, areas? Uh, if uh, you have a permission for for get something, uh, they can get it and. Maybe mm -hmm. can you can get it a mm -hmm. permission, but it's not easy because this type of people in the mountain in the have is very close. You know, is uh, he have this area and want also to protect and uh, also Olea is they have a lot because it's uh, everywhere mm -hmm. <laughs> and don't need it for nothing. Uh, he have a big trees and also have a, a lot of things uh, in this uh, in these areas. You know. Mm -hmm. What kind of pots do you prefer to put olives in? Yeah, I prefer it also always depends about the style of the mm -hmm. tree, but in general uh, I like the dark uh, color, like a little gray, a little black and gray, not too brown or not too red, mm -hmm. uh, because when I, I see the tree with uh, like this olea, you see uh, you have uh, white areas, black areas, and makes something gray. Mm -hmm. And if you put something similar, uh, doesn't looks too.
too much mm -hmm. and fit very well with the tree mm -hmm. and, and make a very, co very good combination. But also you can uh, do different things like put uh, maybe dark uh, glassed pot, mm -hmm. you know? Normally, usually the people put uh, on glassed mm -hmm. yeah? and a lot of people put brown, but I prefer more dark, more gray, more dark, yeah. But glazed yeah. pots are more unusual, it's more like conifers you put in unglazed pots. Normally unglazed, but uh, if you get the proper, I think uh, if you if you get the proper uh, shape and color and fit very well, you can use than you want, mm -hmm. you know, because it's a very raw material. It's a very unique material. Yeah. Yeah. And you can, if you do, if you put a glass set uh, with nice dark uh, color, can fit as well because always have dark uh, in, in the tree, you know, mm -hmm. and can be can be possible, my opinion. Uh, what is most important for the care of the olive as a bonsai? Yeah, the most important is like uh, good water, of course, and you you must know is a calcarium tree, and uh, a good uh, micronutrient is a calcium. You need to is a is a secondary micronutrient in general, but uh, for dolea is very important mm -hmm. because uh, growing uh, calcarium area. Mm. If you put, uh, depends how is your water, if you put uh, extra calcium, you get a better structure and you get better color and, oh. and, and fit better with all the macro and micronutrients, you know, you, the tree gets better because it's more, it's more uh, calcarium pH is better. Yeah? Uh, this is the one thing, of course. Also, likes a lot the sun, depends, uh, have a big range of uh, weather because you know, uh, I have clients in also Norway, in, in Germany, in Denmark, and uh, Ireland, and uh, the olea grow very well because it's not exactly the same than the standard olea. It's more, it's more hard tree, mm -hmm. and, and also growing the mountain is uh, 1,200 meters is possible and get very, very cold, you yes, know? they are used to snow and frost. Yes, exactly. In, mm -hmm. in January, February, you get frost or sometimes snow, yeah? Mm -hmm. But uh, the best is uh, if, you pro if you live in the north of Europe, you protect in the cold uh, moment, you know? Mm -hmm. It's better, in my opinion, yeah? Yes. And also, always put uh, maximum sun is possible, mm -hmm. of course, yeah? And uh, do you give them a lot of water or do you let them dry in between? Uh, if, if you have, uh, it's always is a, is a equilibration, you know, it's like all the trees. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have, depends what type of soil you have it, if it's more new or more old, you need to have uh, a good oxygen inside. Uh, in, for example, in this moment, you need to new branches and it's better if you have uh, more new uh, soil because uh, get more oxygen and makes easily and faster branches, you know. Mm -hmm. And every time you can get a uh, different size or different type of soil and and makes more less oxygen and you can get less more dry the, in the in the pot. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you can water in like other trees without any problem. You know, it's not like the same sensibility like uh, pines, you know, is more, have a big range as well for dry or water. Oh, okay. No problem. And uh, what kind of fertilizer do you use? Do you use Yetwet or uh, pellet fertilizer or mixture? Here we use it a lot of things, you know, liquids and solid ones. But for layers, for example, uh, always I tell is uh, it's better if you don't put a uh, high nitrogen because makes very long the branches and uh, I want to control uh, the bifurcation. When you get mm -hmm. a new branch, I want to put a new wire or put in the proper position and make open and make more space in the, in the tree. Mm -hmm. If you put a high nitrogen, uh, you get very long and very like a tube, tubing and mm -hmm. very, very fast. Mm -hmm. And it's not a soft and nice ramification you don't get this one. But o only I put a high nitrogen and a lot of fertilizer in the first one and a half, two years. Yeah? Oh, okay. And after that, when you create a ramification, 
you put less nitrogen, equilibrate macro and micronutrients, and extra calcium. Right? It's, ah, a good, yeah. it's a good uh, combination. I see. Mm -hmm. um, do they um, like foliage fertilizing, like uh, junipers, for example? It's, uh, I don't think like junipers or species in concrete, you know, it's, I think it's, uh, you can, uh, the pH, for example, mm -hmm. uh, also in the, must be more 7 than 6.5, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, juniper sometimes depends what type of juniper, because... No, no, uh, no, what I meant was uh, foliar feeding, yeah. like... Uh, ah, foliar. Uh, no, a foliar, a foliar feeding. I use the the same for every single species. Not uh, not don't have one for sabinas or junipers or for deciduous or for oleas. But you also do it with oleas. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think you you're thinking about if get more or less from the foliage fertilizer. Of course, juniper have more capacity for get it mm. foliage. Yeah. Of yes. Course, yeah. yeah. This is a waxy. Yeah. Uh, leaf, so the wax won't leave that much. Yeah, you normally food. get from the back, you know, in, mm -hmm. uh, in this area. Yeah, yeah, but it's not exactly the same capacity. Don't have this exactly the same capacity. But also, if you put normally when I spray it with liquid in the foliage, also I put first in the soil, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah. Do you think it's the same if I grow? Olive bonsai more in the north, like in Hamburg, or like your customers in Denmark or Norway, yeah. that they, for example, use more nitrogen because they want some shoots. Because my olives don't make very yeah. long shoots. Okay. I have uh, usual mm -hmm. uh, fertilizer yeah. in the middle with the nitrogen, but yeah. they don't make long shoots. Okay. Of course, depends uh, where do you live. You need to change uh, your fertilizer, of course. You know? Okay. Well, maybe in, in your area or Hamburg or more in the north, you need to put more nitrogen and and make something different. Of course, mm -hmm. maybe also extra fortificant like amino acids mm -hmm. and motivate uh, uh, longer <laughs> branches and new flush. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You must play. Depends uh, yeah. where do you live and make a test. And but you must know you need to have a, a complete nutrition. This is very important. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, is it all of your favorite species for bonsai? Is uh, one of the, my favorites, of course. Uh, I, my favorite species are uh, pinus. Also, Pinus sylvestris, one of my favorites, and of course, Juniper sabina mm -hmm. and Olea, of course. Uh, we, well, we, here we tell Uyastre, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in Mallorquin or Catalan, and, but it's Olea sylvestris, uh, in special, these ones from Mallorca is one of my favorites, probably my favorite, of course. Yeah, they are so beautiful. <laughs> and you see how you can get a lot of styles. You can find very nice bunjin, you can find semi-cascade, cascade, cascade uh, moyogis, uh, all the styles that you want. And I think for a hobbyist or professional, it's very funny, you know, because you can do that you want. Yeah, yeah you have uh, so many options. Also free style. Yes. <laughs> um, are there more native species, uh, species here on Mallorca which yes. are good for bonsai? Yeah, of course. We have, uh, we talked about the pistacia, it's also very nice because you can get very nice trunks and it's not exactly the same foliage but have uh, his uh, essence, it's nice. And also we have a butsus, a balearic butsus, but this is very, very protected, you, you cannot uh, get for for uh, everywhere because mm -hmm. it's a uh, protect tree. Uh, mm -hmm. Olea sylvestris in special is not protect, it's the protect the best area for collet, yeah? but Butsus is uh, very protect, for mm -hmm. example. And uh, Butsus, Balearica Butsus have very nice bark, mm -hmm. like a snake, very mm -hmm. beautiful, also very nice uh, leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the same like uh, Butsus supervivence. Supervivence is, uh, I think, is more interesting tree. Uh, yes. Also, Rosmarinos is a very nice tree, and here we have a Mediterranean pine, is a Alepensis pine, mm -hmm. and it's very, also very interesting. It's not don't have the same size like uh, Scott pine or Silvestris, but it's uh, also very interesting tree. And it's not that flexible. Like 
Like yeah. check it at a pine uh, yeah, and it's a, it's also flexible, but because normally you get with very long branches. Mm -hmm. It's also flexible, but not like Silvestris. Mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, so flexible, I think. Yeah. 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 But also it's very nice tree. If you need to change the fertilizer to get a proper size of needles, everything, but you can get a very nice tree. It's, uh, like a red pine, you know, it's uh, mm -hmm. this yes. this type of color. You mm -hmm. know, yeah, it's, yes. it's also have a very nice uh, sense as well. Yeah, and I, I saw a lot of very beautiful old Quercus ilex. Yeah, also Quercus, of course. Uh, originally uh, in Mallorca, we have more Quercus ilex than Oleas uh, in the past. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the pines are growing very high and and make shadow and and a lot of uh, Kerkus islets die, but ah. we have a uh, very nice forest islets. Yeah, very yeah. nice ones. Yeah. yeah, I saw them in the forest. Not yeah. On bonsai, there's yeah. not so many I saw. It's also a very nice species in Mallorca, I think. Yeah. yeah, and it's great for bonsai too. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Do you have a, a favorite tree in your collection? Yes, uh, <laughs> I have a very nice small bunjin. <laughs> The name is Om. It's like a, a yoga, you know. It's, yes. it's, a very, it's very similar. It's very very nice uh, tree, in my opinion. Also, I have a big uh, bunjin. I have a lot of favorites, but <laughs> <laughs> but but the small one, uh, in special, this one is very very nice. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, we will take a, a short. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, what do you think, uh, how important is the internet for bonsai today? I think today is very important because a uh, lot of people make videos uh, and now a lot of people always uh, are with the phone, you know, and <laughs> you can, if you are bored in your home and look for internet and, and it's a very good investment, I think. But also is a, for a professional like me, for me is a extra work, you know, because you need to work in a lot of trees and, and you need also to make uh, extra work. Uh, if you need to make a video or something. Uh, it's uh, very time consuming. It's a lot of time also for, if you have trees in, in our website, for example, uh, the trees are live and always need uh, new photos. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes you don't have time to sell and up the tree and change the tree. And normally I have 15%, uh, 20% of my trees uh, for my sales area. And it's maybe the people look in my website and only see a, a small, small part of my trees for sales but but can ask of course is a uh, very important the internet but they opinion. can come here and look the beautiful island and with yeah. the shop they a, will yeah. see all the beautiful trees this is a good option always <laughs> yeah the best i i always saw uh, the videos from you i yeah. looked at your website yeah but when you uh, show me around here i was really impressed it's yeah so it's, it's uh, nothing to nothing say. to compare <laughs> yeah. with the videos on, on yeah. the website so yeah this is wow. a this is a, a tough part you know because if you want to do everything in the website is you need two people more for work mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's always a difficult part yeah it's, yeah it's too much work i think in in bonsai you know when you have you sell i sell the scissors or pots you have the pot and always is is there, you know? Mm -hmm. You need, you don't need to change always the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a extra work, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, about the trees, always you need to up and down, up and down. And it's easy to make maybe a videos and up to Facebook or something, mm -hmm. the social media, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, and it's great, but I think that mm -hmm. You get easily connected with a lot of other bonsai people. Yes. Before the internet, I was only playing bonsai for myself, and yeah. since the internet, yeah, you have much more connections and you can learn much more. Yeah, I have a, a good and bad point, of course, Definitely. because you can get the proper information and you can get very bad one. Yeah, you understand. Exactly. Depends your. <laughs> 
you're subjective about what is good or not. Uh, the, not all the people know what is good way or not. Yeah, that's and also right. you have a uh, good, bad, good and bad information in the same time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you do, if you start with bonsai, it's hard yeah. to find out exactly. who gives you good information. Yeah, you need to. A lot of people ask. This. Yeah, you need you need to have a good eye. So what is a good or bad information? You yeah, know? that's right. why we started the channel to yeah. give the people good bonsai information. Yeah. There's a lot of good different, different. artists all yeah. over the world. Of course, always it's good to have a a big range of uh, information and get what you like it and what you think is good. You know, yeah. Yeah, for you. Mm. Mm. You do a lot of workshops in other countries yes. and on shows. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Are you on international bonsai event for selling like the um, like the trophy? Yes, I normally in the past I, I was always in trophy and salieu and also now we have uh, in Madrid a new exhibition uh, and I want in the future maybe in Arco. Mm. But I, I can go everywhere always, you know, because I have also here, also I travel a lot and mm. it's uh, difficult for me. But uh, I think the most important now is trophy, of course. Yes. I, will, I will be there in the next February, ah, of course. Great. And also now, the, this month I have in Madrid, National Exhibition, ah. and I will go with the trees as well. Ah. And maybe in the future Arco, I think it's three points, very good ones. I uh, I will try to go Arco maybe. Yeah, also. Arco is great yeah. too. It's yeah. such beautiful place. Yeah, and everything yeah, I is so. outside. Yeah, I, I see the pictures. Never been, uh, mm -hmm. but I want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, what do you think? How the bonsai scene in Europe is today, and how is the development in the bonsai scene in uh, comparison to the mm. past and what do you think will be in the future? Yeah, it's a good question because uh, after, I think after Japan, uh, Europe was very, very, very good quality and, and also Spain, uh, you know, is uh, have a lot of good quality trees and also Star France, uh, Italy, of course, and also Germany and uh, I think Europe improved a lot the level, I think, in my opinion, and also now we have more points like US, mm -hmm. and US, uh, Ryan, Bjorn uh, makes up all the level very, very fast and quick, yeah. and I think uh, if we have more level around, uh, uh, it's good for all the hobbyist people and uh, motivate the new ones, I think, and it's very good. I think uh, Europe has a good level, more professionals uh, every time and, uh, and improve a lot of the level in Europe, I think, uh, step by step. Yeah. Yeah. What are your plans for the future? Will you... I, no, I don't know what Zali, but I, I want to have a very nice place, enjoy my place here. Uh, also, I like so much, I have some roots. Now I travel a lot, but my idea is uh, keep it uh, only some parts because is too much because I travel every week and it, it, it's, uh, if you do only this, it's okay. But if you have also garden like this and you sell trees, you sell spot, you sell everything and also uh, travel is very tough, you know. And in, my foot, in the future I want to travel less, only mm -hmm. have some routes uh, in different points, but this is enough in my yeah. opinion. But, my idea is have a very nice garden with my projects, uh, uh, put more trees in the west side and make more this style of, uh, of uh, company and business, you know. Uh, that's, that's the same as was Ryan told mm -hmm. us in the school, yeah. that Kimura told him, yeah. you have to let the people come to your place, not go to the people's yeah. place, that will improve your trees so much. Yeah, yeah, because it's, uh, it's difficult, because when I arrive, I need to work in my trees as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have a lot, you see, yes. <laughs> and it's a lot of work, and, mm -hmm. and you need to do these trees. And also, I, my idea is to make also learning videos, like uh, I have in process a monographic about Oleas, and I want to make some school here as well with the videos. And uh, But 
also don't have time I want to do, but is uh, in the future I think we we can get it. I think. Yeah. Mm. Great. So you have this great olive there, and you yeah. wanted to show us a little bit how you work on it. Yeah, of I course. Think the people it, would love it. Yeah. Uh, in the past, this tree was a uh, big and very straight. Uh, here, uh, pond, and I want to make more compact and make a very nice line with the bark here, and also have a very good point here with the dead wood. You see, mm -hmm. uh, but um, now looks like have the green uh, in this area, but the future will be inside and make a window with this uh, this very nice dead wood here. Yes. You know, and also we can close here and make. Uh, some very nice branches here and make a dramatic uh, style, you know, it's uh, like a semi-cascade more or less. Mm -hmm. uh, but also in the past uh, have big here as well and make some nice movement for the future. And, and of course when you get a tree like this for raw material, uh, one of the a uh, tough part of the of, of work on these soleas is uh, you must imagine the ramification mm -hmm. and you must uh, think about how you get the branches in this area and this area and make the tree uh, and you need to have a good plan for that, <laughs> you know. Sometimes uh, when you work on pines or you work on junipers you have the branches and put only in the position and every time you get more but in this is like a deciduous you need to to get for nothing you know mm -hmm. but in uh, raw material in juniper in the deciduous trees is always more more easy because it's more standard trees and but in in this type of tree you need to imagine what you want to do before yes. you know because if you get a bad ramification, uh, you need to start again because it's mm -hmm. not easy to move easily after that. You know? mm -hmm. And in this tree, for example, I will wire because have some bifurcation from before. Now, need uh, in summer, I, I put out the wire uh, here in Mallorca because it's too hot. Mm -hmm. Maybe in German or in the north part is not necessary. Uh, also, it's better because in May, June is a good moment. Mm -hmm. but but here I put in the July, August always the wire out because no, the sun is very hard and also make us uh, go inside very fast and burn some branches and also some insects can go in easily. And mm -hmm. it's better if you do take off all the wire in summer and now is a good moment again for work on it. Oh, yes, in October, now it's October, September, October is a good moment for example. Yeah. And I'm gonna wor uh, work on it with wiring and I have some lines and make nicer today, I think. Yeah. If uh, you want, we can start and work on it a little bit. Yeah, would be yeah. great. Also, before wiring, always uh, I do the first work is uh, again uh, brain selection, mm -hmm. you know, because you see how I have all in the bottom a lot of branches in the Normally I get bifurcation, if you have three, always I get uh, the nice lines. Yes. Okay? Uh, always two, because if I keep more than three, than two, normally make a big ball here. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is swelling. Of course, and, and always I work uh, uh, first more in the growing hard, the first areas, and the apis is the more, the last one, because mm -hmm. If you get first more energy here, uh, normally the tree is growing like hell here, <laughs> but need uh, to arrive the energy here as well. And if you work with uh, more energy in this area first, always win the, the top area. Mm -hmm. And it's better for the evolution. Oh, uh, okay. You understand? Yes. Yeah. And it's for it that, sense. it's for that uh, looks like don't have I piece now mm -hmm. because always I work first in this area. Okay? Yes. Okay. And but then you uh, switch the energy to the bottom branches and take yeah. away uh, the apical dominance. Yeah. And send the apical dominance to the bottom tree. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. Yes. Because because uh, you see a lot of trees uh, have a big 
big top here, big uh, IPs here, and very weak first branches. Mm -hmm. But uh, now arrive very properly energy here, sun, everything, and this is the last part. And mm -hmm. I can arrive here, I can arrive here, mm -hmm. but uh, proportional with the areas uh, where I want to get the sun and energy properly, you know? Yes. And uh, inside a ramification. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, the other thing is uh, the same than a lot of trees. You don't need to keep a lot of points of branches because you need to have a space for create the ramification. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, the people make a lot of branches. I have one here, I keep it. I have one here, I keep it. Everyone make a shape, but don't have space for grow properly. Mm -hmm. you know? This is also because it's... Uh, it's easy to keep everything because you see more nice shape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, you must think about a structure for the future as well. Yes. And first select all again, clean. Maybe I stop the video short oh. and then I come a little closer, then you yeah, can first. see more.